What is up? This is one big bug, and I am coming at you with Euro Truck Simulator 2. And we're continuing on with our 20% damage trailer, which means we'll be lucky if we get half of that 89,728 reward. <sighs> what can you do? So, I just finished the first part of um, weed eating. And I should be able to finish tomorrow. So I'm feeling pretty good. Another word. Don't any of you say a single thing. I caught it. I see it. I'm getting it. We're good. Okay? Nobody say nothing. I'm again worried about my dog, Koa, because this is the third time uh, now that he's gone into his ultra-timid phase, where he doesn't want to come out of his bed for very much, um, where the slightest surprise tap to him causes him to go into a panic, and... Um, Try, you know, he curls up, he whimpers, the slightest touch of something, he yelps. Um, you know, and it's frustrating. I actually had to put a leash on him this morning to take him for a walk, something I haven't had to do in a while, to uh, walk him around the yard. Because uh, he wouldn't go. I, I brought him out, and he turned around, and he tried to go right back in the house. So I put a leash on him to take him so that he could at least walk around the yard and go to the bathroom. So, I am concerned about him, but not as concerned as when it first happened. Because even if it continues like this, I know how to deal with it now. Um, and he will probably come out of it. He's already seemed to come out of it a little bit. And that comes from him um, actually coming out of his bed and jumping up onto my bed to get his treat for being outside. Uh, I did take him outside when I went to Weed Eat. Uh, him and Bella come out with me now that they pretty much behave. It's not a 100% thing, but they're doing, you know, they do really well. And he didn't wander around the yard or anything. And he, he honestly, when I Weed Eat, he doesn't do much of that anyway. He'll wander around a little bit. He'll, you know, go to the bathroom around the yard, sniff a little bit. Then he'll find a place to just hunker down in the shade and chill out and watch me. And that's what he did. He found a, he found some shade under a chair that's out there. And he just laid down and he chilled out. And he relaxed. And, you know, all is well, I guess. And he looked happy when I came up the stairs to come in having a good time to a degree I actually saw him drink water um, and you may say well, what does that have to do with I haven't seen him drink water in two days that's not to say he hasn't I haven't seen it so it actually felt good to see him go ahead give me a fucking speeding ticket it actually felt good uh, to actually see him drink water I haven't seen or heard him eat either and I'm pretty sure he hasn't, because the food I put in the bowl for uh, for the two dogs is still mostly there. I haven't really had to refill it. That means he's not eating right now. So, I guess he's feeling sick again. I'm not sure what to do about it. I notice my dogs have a, a habit of eating grass now. And the general consensus, and I don't know if it's 100% true, but I don't know what else to go on, is that when dogs eat grass, they're sick. And they're trying to help their stomach. The grass helps to calm the stomach, I guess. Uh, so that could be it. He could just be have, like, he could be feeling sick. And this is how he's reacting to it. The only thing is, is I don't know what could be causing him 
to be sick like this, or Bella, you know, because Bella's doing it as well. I don't know what could be causing it. What's what's making them sick like that? I give them um, Purina. Purina? I can never remember which, uh, uh, but it is it is a big you know big name dog food. And I don't buy it because it's a big name dog food. I buy it because it's cheaper. But hell, I was feeding them Old Roy's which I believe is the Walmart brand, and they did fine on that for the longest time. And they've been eating uh, this one that I've gotten them for several months now, and they've been fine up until recently. So, I don't know. I think part of it is is that, uh, at times, things get left in the yard, bones and leftovers from when my uh, sister-in-law my uh, and my brother-in-law have a little party out there, a little gathering the friends come over and they just drop stuff into the grass. My dogs get to them and I can't stop them. No matter how hard I try. Eventually they're going to get something. But even then they haven't done that recently. Not to warrant feeling like this. So I'm not sure. The only other thing I could truly think that it is, is psychological. Uh, something happens that's upset Koa and he's become very timid about it. He'll come out of it eventually, and even if he doesn't, I know how to handle it. And I know how to take care of him. As long as he eats. As long as he eats, he'll be fine. And he will eat eventually. He will. Although I'm considering switching back to the old Roy's dog food for them. Because, I don't know, they just seem to do better on the old Roy's. This is... Yeah, this is too risky. I'm not gonna do that. You're just gonna turn anyways. So not 100% sure where this run's gonna end uh, entirely, but we'll see. Because right now we're headed to the ferry, and then we go from the ferry to a ferry. Um, and then uh, we're in Greenland, which I haven't done. In a, well, and we're going to a town I haven't been to. So. You know, but it, it's become a really great uh, thing for me right now, Second Life of made a lot of uh, digital friends, as I like to call them. There's one called V, and Willow, and uh, there's Jack. Uh, you know, and through them, I've met other people, and I've got a really good friend now in Nadia. Uh, of course, I have Riddy. Uh, Riddy is pretty much what I like to call my anchor friend. And to me, that's another way of saying my best friend, and more, to be honest. To be just straight up, you know, honest, and everyone knows what, I talk, what I'm talking about, I've said it before. But he's my best friend, he's my anchor friend, he's the friend that if I'm in need, will be there, you know. It's as simple as that, and I'm the type of friend to him, to where if he's in need, I'll be there. That's just how it's been. But on top of that, Willow has become a very good friend of mine. Uh, v has become a, a, a pretty good friend of mine. Nadia is becoming a close friend. Uh, well, things are going really well. You know, I've got my little skybox. Riddy has his blimp for my sky loft. And we just added a little... Uh, I'm just going to be straight about it. I'm not going to, like, beat around the bush or anything. And I guess that's a joke in a way. Uh, we've added an adult entertainment area that we uh, can go and play around with and with friends. Hey, don't judge it. And uh, what else? I'm going to add a second loft <coughs> up next to the one that I'm currently in. And I'm going to make that a gathering area. You know, 
if I have larger gatherings, you know, I'm going to put a hot tub in there, and I don't know what else, but I'm going to try and make a little gathering area. Okay, I am still in England, which means this side. And this time, we don't hit. Yay, we did it. So, I don't know how I'm going to decorate it right now, but I'm going to over time. And it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be fun. And then after that loft goes up, I really don't need anything else. I will pretty much be done. And then, eventually, if I want to, I can rip it all down and put something else up later on. But this is what I wanted. I wanted an area to entertain in. I don't know. Maybe if I have enough, I can put something else up. But I don't know what I would. I just want a place where friends can come over and gather and have fun uh, if they want to. Even though the, the general gathering place on the parcel of land that I co-rent with with Willow, V, and Jack is uh, Willow's in place is usually the gathering place, but it'd be nice to have my own. We'll see. You know, we just did a look yesterday after putting up the entertainment area and a couple other things. And come to find out, you know, be between Riddy and myself, we have a grand total of um, 700 prims. Uh, right now, we're just at about 400, a little under 400 prims. So we still got 300 to go. And the sphere loft I'm going to put up is only 25 prims. And then the stuff I put in it. I doubt I'll use another 100 in total. So looking forward to it indeed. on fuel, good on time, just our trailer's fucked up. Because much like in real life, if you come off the gas, you don't even have to hit the brake. If you come off the gas, the, e the corners become easier than if staying on them, you know. So you coast through them, then power out the other side. we can finish upgrading our Mercedes. That's really pretty, you know, that sunrise still.
We're making really good time on this run, so that I'm happy of. There's no screw-ups here, which is making things really nice. I haven't even gotten a speeding ticket yet, I don't think. As opposed to yesterday. Kind of interesting that the speed limit here is 60 miles per hour, and the speed limit back in um, on the highway is 60 miles per hour. I find that just a little strange. I can see the rest of the road, screw you. Besides, I was given a passing lane here, so it's not all that bad. Got a couple of new subscriptions that I've been to. I don't know what they're called for sure. I can find out and try and remember to uh, put them up in the next video. One of them, the main series that this guy does is uh, 20 styles of, of a uh, certain song within X amount of uh, minutes or seconds. So... What you end up getting is he will, um, this is really a terrible passing area, and I don't know why they'd make it. What, what, what you get is he picks a song, and then he sings it in 20 different styles. And he picks some really interesting ones as well. Um... Recently, he just did a 40 style because I guess in his words for the video, it said, um, he said it had been a long time since he'd done 20 styles of song. And so to make up for it, he's going to do 40 styles. And he picked Eminem's Rap God. Um, and he, in this, he did, he did Simon and Gar, he did a Simon and Garfunkel style. He did, uh, Bing Crosby style, you know, he, you know, he just takes different bands, different uh, rappers, metal, rock, classic, doesn't matter, and he constantly sings the song in those styles, and he strings it all together, and it's really fucking impressive, and the guy's got a lot of subscribers as well, 1.5 million plus, and well-deserved, um, Impressed the shit out of me for certain, so I definitely subscribed to him. And another one is a new Binding of Isaac YouTube uh, commentator. is a British bloke. Um, by the sounds of it, anyways, he's British. I'm pretty sure somewhere in his videos he even said he's British. Doesn't matter, really. Uh, but he does these uh, short edits. Instead of bringing you like full long gameplays like Northern Lion and Biznap, uh, he edits gameplays together and he does these like really incredible runs and these funny runs. And sometimes he does seated runs, but it's not about the run itself. His commentary is fucking hilarious. And each video is about 15 or so minutes long and they're just a laugh fucking riot to listen to. You know, and he doesn't pull punches when it comes to jokes. Um, he's not outright vulgar, but he's definitely adult when it comes to them. But it's a laugh riot to watch. And I'm actually going through a lot of his back uh, catalog right now. Uh, and it's just so much fun. I absolutely love it. I think I'll be okay to pass. I don't see anything coming. Okay, now I see something coming. Why'd you stop? I'm over the other side now. That was actually uh, pretty risky.
again, when it comes to passing in Euro Truck, it's all about counting the traffic and, and the time in between each one. So, if there's a long period of time between cars, like the white truck and this car that went by, there was quite a bit of time, so that gives you a nice little uh, chance to pass a few vehicles. Although, this is quite a lot of vehicles I'm attempting to overtake. So, yeah, that's what I thought, and that's why I only overtook the one. Oh, that's a lot of cars. Point passing here. Yeah, I was wondering if there was a stop sign somewhere. It was a perfect opportunity to get a drink because these lights take a little while. It's interesting because my right arm's still shaking a bit from weed eating. I've had a problem with my elbow for months now. I need to get my doctor to look at it. Plus, um, uh, I lost my train of thought on that one. Hmm. Looks like we're going to get to go now. Shortly. This light takes, yeah, I said this light takes a while, so. Just like the real thing, honestly. I don't have to move over too far on this part. Yeah, I'm actually feeling a little bit run down right now, just a tad. to say. You know, I've been going to bed late, getting up early. I've been going to bed late because I'm enjoying my time on uh, Second Life. I actually talk to Riddy on Skype now, and I have been for a while. We chat back and forth. We usually have a lot to talk about. We just joke and whatnot. It's quite a lot of fun. lost my train of thought again. I don't know how I keep losing trains, man, but I am. <sighs> I hate when traffic just suddenly slows down. We should be fairly close to the, um... We should be fairly close to the ferry by now. I mean, first off, the biggest clue is that we're running along the waterfront. Tough corner. 
little tough, not too bad. Not too bad at all. That may have hurt our trailer more. I just saw that we took out one of the posts. And these posts can cause some serious damage. I'll check once we get on this little straightaway right here. Yep, 21%. Went up by a percent. God, that sucks. I've never been such a horrible. Well, you know what? It's not hor. It's not. I've actually driven worse than this and not managed to damage the trailer. I can't say what I was going to say. I've never been uh, such a horrible driver. What happened was just a really stupid mistake. You know, if you didn't see it, I was on the highway and I was going to pass a car on the right. Decided I didn't want to be on the right near the wall again. So I went for a... Uh, I went to pass behind the car again for a left-hand, you know, pass him on the left-hand side, and I ended up, you see how the corner of the trailer sticks out past the truck? I hit him with that corner, and it immediately damaged my trailer by 20%. So, yeah. I should be okay to pass. Should. Mm. Thank you for stopping. Traffic must be picking up a little bit because that count was a lot shorter than uh, prior. And it looks like traffic's picking up a little bit, so I'll have to be much more diplomatic on passing, but again, we should be really close to the ferry, and I am going to end the episode on the ferry, because again, it's going to be a bit of a short episode as compared to what I normally do, but taking a double ferry is going to reset our stamina completely, so I think it's better if I just went to Iceland uh, with a full rest and be able to end the run when we're done. Hey, you're not supposed to swing out that far. Just so you know. Yeah, there's the ferry. Sorted itself, not too bad. Got to turn. Yeah, I went up on the sidewalk on purpose just to make sure I was going to clear that car. It's 
says go this way. I should have straightened out sooner. It's an awfully small ferry. I'm just gonna throw that out there. <sighs> Only one place to go. Must be another ferry. Shut up. Yeah, there is. If I look at the map, which I should look sooner. So we'll drive to that ferry and then end it. Off of England, though. Sorry, dude. Back on this side. larger load than you. So I should get priority. That's how it works. Now see, this is a much bigger ferry. See, this is a ferry. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce. Actually, I think the last part is fjord. But whatever. All right, folks, that is going to be me done for this episode. I hope you've been enjoying this as much as I've been enjoying bringing it to you. Otherwise, this is one big bugger. I'm gonna be signing out. Don't forget to like, favor, and subscribe. Until next time. <laughs>